Hey, hello everybody, welcome back. Doing some flashback today. Magic! It's a brand new set, because uh, we, last week, fairies did the impossible, won four in a row, so it gets booted out into the Hall of Fame. And, I like how uh, you just booted out. Yeah, you know, the it's, it's a different door. It's a different door. Yeah, and uh, and the losing deck, of course, gets booted up, but that one just into the That's, garbage. Yeah, we just, door, yeah, dumpster. We had a ceremonial uh, burning of that deck, so you'll never see that again. I don't even remember what deck. It just guy's tendency, I think it was. <laughs> yes. So uh, anyway, so what that means is that we're picking two brand new decks. So I'll give you the results of last week's vote, and nothing actually gets kicked out this week because the top two decks are going to face each other yes. right now. So, we had 235 votes. We had Goblins in last place with 47. We had Soul Sisters in second last place with 48 or 49. I can't 49. really... I'm trying to read this off the board behind you. Uh, 49 votes. Abzan Flicker in second place with 67 votes. And Enduring Dragon in first place with 72 votes. So, I'm playing Enduring Dragon. I'm playing Abzan, Abzan Flicker. Flicker. Uh, next week, so, like, like we were stating, Soul Sisters and Goblins don't go away this week. Um... Goblins has been in a long time, though. Yeah, this would have been the fifth voting period, so if yeah. Goblins doesn't get picked, then yeah. it's going to be out. Then it also gets the ceremonial dumpster fire. Because um, it's just been yeah. dragging its feet, not exactly. doing anything exactly. in the voting. Kind of like Goblins do in <laughs> in the lore, anyway. So uh, next week, your choices are going to be Soul Sisters and Goblins. And the new ones, uh, we actually got a lot of suggestions in the comments of decks that we've done before to throw in. So we're actually throwing in two people's suggestions. We have Superion Aggro. And we have Black White Eldrazi, which should be interesting since uh, it doesn't all the, have I, all but the I think Black White is probably the one that's yeah least fine with least not affected by that. that least affected. So those are your options for next week. They'll be here, and now they won't be. And we will. Oh right. Yeah, we got other other point of business. First. Since these are brand new decks, uh, neither one has the advantage. So we're gonna roll this dice. Uh, it's a dice inside of a dice. You want the inside or the outside? I think I want the outside. Around the outside. Five to three. You got it. So, we will see you in game one. Okay, game one. Go ahead and show your hand. What we're working with. Those. And for me. A couple of things. Go ahead. Forest and an Aether Vial. Alright. To go. Draw a card. Well, you have a turn one play. I kind of have a turn one play. Suspend a Lotus Bloom. And we will play a Scalding Tarn. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Get the counter. Yep. Draw. Ha. We're going to cast the Bird's Paradise. All right. <laughs> We're going to vial in a Bird's Paradise. Yep. Ah, uh, you Wings do a land. Teeth. Okay. Are you going to really? Break? Third bird? Jesus. And a 19. Well. <laughs> and we'll find... A bit of trouble this game, maybe. <laughs> Godless Shrine tap. Ah, oh, okay. I, I thought for sure you were going to put in three birds, which would be ridiculous. Enter go. I'm going to crack that in the turn. Go 19. Um, I think I'll find a steam vents. Put that in tapped. I like my vents nice and steamy, as does Mr. Boopster. Alright. Unzap. Remove a counter. Draw a card. Um. Hmm. Let's go for a snow covered island. Pass the turn. All my basics are snow covered. Untap. Basically, because I can. No other reason. Keep. Yep. Draw for turn. Going to try for Sea Drino? No. <laughs> Remand. Draw card. Ooh. That's gross. Enter go. Unzap. That goes to one. Draw card. 
Um, let's see. Tapped Halifant. Pass the turn. End of your turn. Gonna file in a wall of omens. Ah, oh, you're gonna build a wall? Draw turn. How are you gonna pay for it? <laughs> Pass the turn. Untap. That's the beauty of it. I didn't have to. Yeah. <laughs> Upkeep. Yep. Draw for turn. You have two mana open. I do. What are the chances? I mean, probably pretty good. So, we're going to build that wall. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to build some more walls? Yeah, I'm going to build some more That's walls. That's too many walls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I, I, I don't know how the taxpayers are going to pay for this, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's weird to have that many. Yeah. Enter go. End of turn. Peer Ooh, through depths. Look at top five. Reveal an instant or sorcery. Put it in my hand. Put the rest on the bottom. There's really only one thing I'm looking for. It probably starts with an E. Uh, it's none of those. So <laughs> put the rest that on the bottom. That would be the ideal decision. In any order. But. Oh, did you straight miss? Well, it's very easy to miss with this. Ah. Because there's not. I mean, it's all enchantments. But that Not means those top five cards aren't going to be... That's true. ...are potentially going to be what I want, so... All right. Untap. Cast Lotus Bloom. Try card. All I've right. you got your Black Lotus on your... I do. ...low monthly payment. <laughs> it's true. Um... Gonna cast... Sea Beyond. Let's... Let's dig a little further. Draw two, shuffle a card back. I think probably this one. The shuffle kind of sucks, because, you know, those five cards on the bottom, I know, aren't what I'm looking for. E. And now they could be absolutely anywhere. Could be even under Mr. Boopster's hindquarters. But they're not. Um. Let's see. And we'll also go for Flooded Strand. Pass the turn. End of your turn. You got a three. You can throw down a Kitchen Finks. Sure. 21. Untap. Upkeep. Yep. Drop turn. Forest. Yep. Yeah. Three. I will take three. Go to 16. And we shall cast a Siege Rhino. And a Crack Flooded Strand. Grab Snow Covered Plains and remand it. Which, I mean, I know you can just flash it in, but... At least it took some mana. Enter go. Alright. We will draw from end. One tap. Draw a card. Wow, those were the same card. That's kind of fancy. Um, let's see. Crack that. Enduring ideal. <gasps> yep. I guess I'll pile in a seed rhino in response. Sure. So, I will search. I will find... Um... What am I most worried about? Cards in hand? Three. Mm, let's lead with a Machine the Mine Cage. Which is giving... Uh, minus five, I believe. I've got five cards in hand. Kills most of my aggression. Okay, so, 
That's that. And now, hmm. Is it worth it? I mean, the biggest power I have is four, yeah. so. Yeah, I think just in case. I will play tapped Halifoon. Go ahead. So it should have, could have done that first. Wouldn't have actually cost me anything. Untap. Keep draw. Violin a seed rhino. Yep. And he's another bird. <laughs> wow, you've got uh, quite a few duplicates in play. <laughs> I've so noticed. Windswept teeth and it should go untap, upkeep, cast enduring. Well, not cast enduring. Ideal, copy it. If it was cast, it wouldn't work because you can't <laughs> cast spells <laughs> with enduring ideal in play. Um. For this one, I think, hmm, so what am I worried about? Not a ton. Do you have how many cards? One card. One card. Um, hmm. Think. Mm. So what would you have to do? You would need two things. Let's get... So it's taking so long, just to... Kind of tough. Let's get a Nevermore naming Restoration Angel. Okay. Mm. So is Rest of the Right Call or is Eerie Interlude the right call? I think actually Eerie Interlude's a better call. So that's what we'll name. Not resting. I can't respond to that, can I? No. Well, you you would have had to respond to the epic trigger, because this is one of those things you name it as it's entering the that battlefield. That should have done that. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Draw for turn. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. My reasoning there was Resto can bounce, like, flicker a Siege Rhino once, but that can be really... Like, that can kill me... Even after I get a form of the dragon, because you get two flicker triggers. So the change of heart. Voice of resurgence and trigo. Upkeep during ideal. Uh, we'll grab. Mm, yeah, I think at this point it's pretty safe. Form of the dragon. We'll draw off a turn. Wow, that was horrible. Um, yeah, I think I'll keep all those there. So, past the turn. The end of my turn. Life total becomes five. So go to five. Untap. Draw off a turn. Shambling vent. Enter go. Yeah, right. Uh, upkeep. I will search first. Mm. Not sure for what, though. I guess... The Tension Sphere, and I'll target this Siege Rhino. Oops. And then I got five damage to put somewhere, so I will aim it at you. 22. 
And then we'll draw a card. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw a turn. Kitchen fix. Yep. 24. Crack winds without teeth. Going to 23. Find the planes and to go. Okay. So, during ideal, we'll go fetch. I don't think there's much I can no. <laughs> draw to play out, but I may as well thin my deck if I can. Might as well. Um, if I had the three cards from that eerie interlude, I might have been better off. But yeah, I forgot about the not responding. Yeah, that that one's kind of a tricky one. Um, let's see. I wasn't thinking of Nevermore. I was thinking of you getting mm -hmm. Unlife or something like that. Oh, joke's on you. I already <laughs> had it. There's <laughs> ah. only one in the main then, so I think I'll get a Porphyry Nodes this time. Yeah, that's that's going to be a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'll slowly chip away. Um. I got six creatures with zero power. Yeah. Actually, I think all of them have zero power at the moment, so... Well, technically they go into negatives, right? So that counts, doesn't it? Does it? I think so. Because you're I guess, destroying yeah, the creature creatures. with the least power. So the least would be like negative, <laughs> negative seven, <laughs> technically. <laughs> um, and then I got a form. So form you. 18. And then I draw a card. So now that I have eight, I think what I'll actually do is play a flooded strand and I'll pass the turn untap draw the turn blooming marsh tapped I'm going to attack you with the birds because I can deal <laughs> okay I'm going to crack this end step actually should I do that on your second maze I guess well it doesn't matter Oh, it's at the end of each turn. Your life total becomes five. So I'll do it in response to that trigger. And we'll go fetch a tapped Mistvale Plains. Settling in for the long game. <laughs> for finally discarding that Phyrexian on life. <laughs> Putting it back on the bottom. Okay. And then that happens. So we get to five. Okay, so then I'll untap on my upkeep. I will point one of those at the foil bird. <gasps> it's dead. It's just how I roll. <laughs> and then we will five to you. Thirteen. And then we will search. Four. Um. Jeez. Slim Pickens. Slim Pickens. Um, let's go for Suppression Field. Oh, yeah. Activate uh, you... abilities. Cost two more to play. In response... Oh, all right, I can't respond to it. Oh, and I attacked with my birds. I was going to activate Shambling Vent, but... Yeah. <laughs> Technically, that actually probably screws me more because this is an activated ability. <laughs> but uh, actually, yeah, that, that kind of does. I mean, it just makes it cost three instead of one, so have to pay like that. So that you... doesn't matter when you can't cast spells. So. No, not really. So we will go to discard step, and we will discard the other form of the dragon. A good way to get a faster clock. Yeah, <laughs> and I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. What you got? Eternal Witness. All right. Hand back my birds. Sure. Bird. Deal. Enter go. Okay. End of turn. I will activate Misfail Planes. So since I control two or more white permanents, a few. In response, I'm going to... Aether Vial. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> just because. Just it's a May. That's true. That's true. 
Um, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to put target card in my graveyard on the bottom of my library. Form of the Dragon, you are now on the bottom. So, we will untap. We will upkeep Porphyry Nodes, that same bird <laughs> that you just got back. <laughs> just because it's fun. Um, let's see what else here. Five to you. Eight. And then, Enduring Ideal, we will search for Form of the Dragon. Did that really surprise anybody? <laughs> I don't think so. Probably not. Took a whole turn off the clock. Exactly. And then we'll draw a card for turn. And then we will pass the turn, go to discard, discard Fraxion on life. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Overground Tomb. Go to six. Turgo. All right. I was hoping for a Siege Rhino because that put me at 11. And then I'd just <laughs> yeah. That would be kind of annoying. All right, so... One more turn. And a turn. Stuff that on the bottom. Response, Aether Vial again. Sure. Untap. I'm going to ideal first. Get that on life. <laughs> um, these are all triggers that happen at the same time, so... I can stack them however I want to. Uh, Porphyry Nodes. I'm going to start tearing down that wall like uh, Reagan asked Gorbachev to. And then I'll five you twice. Form of the Dragon. Go to one, go to dead. All right. <laughs> so, turning into a dragon. Got there. Despite Turning uh, into two dragons. Scott. Actually, yeah, technically. <laughs> a two-headed dragon. All right. So that was game one. And we will see you in sideboards. All right. Sideboards. So, I'll go first. Um... So my sideboard's uh, obviously a ton of enchantments and then a little any control uh, package here. Uh, the enchantments are kind of in here for an obvious reason. So I've got rest in pieces for uh, graveyard decks, uh, one wear tear, which is not an enchantment, but it's useful in all situations, and it's foreign. It's a Estropeer Razgar. So probably butchering that, but that's okay. Uh, Spirit of the Labyrinth for if there's like a storm deck or something. I don't know. Um, another Phyrexian on life, in case the first one's always going to get destroyed. Face Fetters, just a pretty good anti-aggro card, and really good if there's, like, a Planeswalker I just can't deal with or something. Authority of the Consoles, great against the uh, creature decks. And Splinter Twin. Down, quite a bit. And Splinter Twin, which isn't a thing. <laughs> which isn't a thing anymore. But, uh, yeah, and then uh, any counter spell package, we got Silence and Boseju. That prevents Enduring Ideal from being able to be countered. Silence can... Help us sure that I'm going to go off that turn, because he cast that first. Another Detention Sphere. Decent. Uh, another Blood Moon. Again, just decent. And then a little anti aggro package with Sphere of Safety and Ghostly Prison. So I think against you, I like Blood Moon because I don't get the feeling that you have a lot of basics. But you also have a lot of birds. So I don't think I quite want that. But I do want Ghostly Prison and Sphere of Safety, because you've got a bunch of creatures and creep creatures that can attack, and I can uh, bring these down a little earlier than an Enduring Ideal if I need to. Um, and then, I like Face Fetters. Uh, essentially, I mean, it gives gives me four life, which helps keep me alive a little longer, and I can put it on, like, an Aether Vial, I suppose, if I need to, or uh, just, like, a troublesome attacker. Um, and Authority of the Consoles, because you are a creature deck. So, we'll put in those four. And we will take out Suppression Field, uh, because you don't actually have that many activated abilities. Just Aether Vial, really. Leyline of Sanctity. Siege Rhino doesn't target, so that's kind of useless. Uh, one Dovescape, because you don't have that many non-creature spells. And Starfield of Nyx, because even if I turn everything into creatures, you have a lot of birds and walls and stuff, so it's not really serving a huge purpose. And removal. You can also remove them. So those come out, these come in. Yeah, turning the... Turning your enchantments into creatures and then having them removed yeah. is probably the worst thing you could do. Yeah. So, as for me, I have Maelstrom Pulse. This can target his enchantment, so obviously it's coming in. Renegade Rallier. This is one of the new cards with Revolt. It seems interesting. You can re you can trigger this quite a lot, and bouncing it guarantees that trigger. Mm. And it can return a few things, but I don't think we need them. Yeah, he's very easily triggered. We have an Engineer and Explosives and a Ratchet Bomb. Ratchet he Bomb needs the same in space. here because... He can trigger it, too, and there's one on the main board as yeah. well. But that's why it's split one and one. 
That's more for token strategies, so we don't need those. Even Mind Sensor makes searching your library a pain. Yeah. And that kind of just wins against you, so yeah, that comes in. Reclamation Sages can destroy an enchantment or an artifact. Once again, very good against you. Fatal Push for when we need more removal spell. We have four paths in the board. Horrible against you because you don't have any creatures. Oh, yeah, it's very bad. <laughs> so and even push. if you did, they're not yeah. only your giant enchantments, so yeah. not very helpful. <laughs> Tide of Hollow Scholars can uh, target his things, and if you can pay six mana, to, you know, Restoration Angel that in response to the trigger, can exile something forever. Not something that hugely comes up, but it still does enough work. Mm -hmm. Get Octigue, he's trying to cast the seven mana sorcery, yeah. so it's pretty kinda, good. Seems kind of obvious. It's pretty good. Fulminate Intermages seem okay, but they're not needed. As for what we're taking out, I mean, four paths. Yeah. He has no targets for that. It's kind of obvious. Stonehorn Dignitary. He's not attacking us, so once again, not very helpful. One Thrag Tusk. And the Voice of Resurgence, because Get Up Teague just plays a better role at uh, that mana cost. Yeah. Because you have, like, Romance. That's what I'm worried about. Mm hmm. So that's coming out. These coming in. I'll see you in game two. Alrighty. Game two. Go ahead. We've got. Those. And for my humble self, that. Go ahead. Temple Garden untapped. Yep. Yeah. 18. Smells like a bird. And a vial. Ooh, not a bird. It's a vial. Intrigo. Draw card. Lotus Bloom. Three counters Again. in that bad boy. And then we'll play Scalding Tarn. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Burnt Catacombs. Going to crack that. Going to 17. To find like a basic planes. All right. Yeah, you know, I'm not bluffing anything with one. I'll just do this to save time. <laughs> Nineteen. Don't actually have any one mana instance other than uh, one in my sideboard. And we're going to violin, Bird of Paradise. Yep. And cast a Gadok Teague. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Enter go. Uh, that guy's going to stick it up my butt. Okay. Unzap. That goes to two. Draw a card. Oh, I mean, disgusting. you'll get that Lotus Petal under it, at least. Yeah. The Lotus Bloom under it. Snow Covered Island. Pass the turn. Untapped. Disgusting. Upkeep. Yeah. Draw. Would you feel better if I told you I drew it that turn? No. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Seventeen. We're going to cast a Kitchen Finks. Peer through depths. In response. Okay. Look at my top five. Uh, that's a big fat miss, but that's good, because I don't want those cards. Get your things come down. Yep. 19. Enter go. Untap. That goes to one. Draw a card. Oh, that's not terrible, I guess. Um, Snow-covered planes. Pentad prism on two. Not an X spell, luckily, so it <laughs> gets past that as well. And we will play Blood Strand. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Drop turn. Mm. 
going to file in an eternal witness. Sure. Getting back this Vern Catacombs. Yep. Crack that, going 18. To find the swamp. Okay. Then we're going to cast a Renegade Rallier. Ooh. Nifty. Does that resolve? Yep. So, when he enters the field, I have triggered Revolt, so I can return a permanent with converted mana cost two or less from a graveyard to the field. It's going to be this Vernon Catacombs. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to get cracked. Seems, go find a forest. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Obviously, there are much more exciting things you can do with that card, but that was pretty. It's pretty interesting when you get to play uh, the same land three times <laughs> yeah. in one turn. And five. I will take five. Going to twelve. Jergo. A sad, sad twelve. Crack that. Going to an even sadder, sadder eleven. Um, and we'll fetch something red as soon as this find it. Come on, steam vents. All right, untap, upkeep, cast a bloom, draw a card. Not, not, it's, it's pretty terrible. But it's not the worst. There are worse things in the world. So we will cast a Sea Beyond. Draw two cards. Shuffle one back. Ew. Uh, so that. those two weren't very good? No. <laughs> they were not. Then... We will cast a Serum Visions. Draw a card. Scry two. Top bottom. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's gross. Um. Then what? Then we hmm play a Mistvale Plains tapped land for the turn, and then we'll make a white and something else to cast a Detention Sphere targeting Gaddock Teague. Yep. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Drop turn. Where were you like a turn to go? <laughs> Beat for eight. Go to three. Enter go. No siege rhino. Wow, I got away with it. Untap. Draw a card. Hmm. Crack that. Cast Enduring Ideal. In response, I'm going to violin an Avid Mind Sensor. <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> sure. Okay, so that lets me search which? The, the top, top four cards of your library Top four instead. cards. Okay. Two. <laughs> three. Miss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I, get, I still get to shuffle my whole library, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't stop you from doing that. That's a uh, Leon and something, I think. There's there's some card that yeah, that one requires it. you to pay to, to yeah. search. Or no, it's pay to shuffle your library, right? Or is it pay no? To it's, search you have to pay library. two to search, or you can't. Search. I don't know what I'm thinking of then. Hmm. Well, 
You got me. Go ahead. Untap. Draw for turn. We're gonna build a wall. Ah! <laughs> Insult the injury. And... You should finish me off with just the new guy. Just the new guy? Yeah. Because I can't block anyway, so... Beat three. Take three. Go to death. Go to my grave. All right. So, that was game two. And we will see you in game three. All right. Game three. Can show my hands? Hopefully we don't just get teagued out again, because that was pretty, uh... <laughs> it was a bit of a beating. What do we've got? Those. All right. So, snow-covered island and serum visions. Draw a card and scry two. Like that one. I also kind of like that one. Um. Yeah, I'll put them both on top like that. Uh, pass turn. Draw for turn. We're just going to play a very exciting Verdant Catacombs. Alright. Enter go. Untap. Glad you don't have a Lotus Bloom. Draw card. Time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're not, but... <laughs> I do have a Pennant Prism. So I do have a little bit of acceleration. Pass the turn. End of your turn. Crack this going to 19. We shall find... An overgrown Tomb. Okay. Shuffle that Teague that was right on the bottom of the library back in. Ah! <laughs> like he'll be somewhere good. He is a butthole. <laughs> Untap. Druff turn. Windswept Heath. Yeah. Crack that going to 18. We're just going to be playing here. Yeah. <laughs> Not even the zebra planes. I thought for sure you'd have the zebra planes. Nah, I picked this one. It looks so depressing. <laughs> it's pretty depressing. It's very vacant planes. There's nothing going on. No. And, uh... Here's a wall. I think Mexico's going to pay for it. No, you have to pay for it. That's ridiculous. Why is Mexico... Mexico's not going to pay for that. <laughs> Two. Is that yeah. good? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Draw. Enter go. <laughs> Untap. Draw a card. Um. Hmm. Let us... See what's beyond. Draw these two. Could be anything. And we'll shuffle that one back. Is he looking through a crack in the wall? I think so. Or the number one. I'm not not too sure. I don't know. It's a hole in the Trump wall, if he's saying. He's yeah. looking whether it's uh, worth it or not. <laughs> sure. Now's my chance! I mean, all they, realistically, all they have to do is dig a little deeper. That's it. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's going to be three meters deep. Just dig four. <laughs> it's not that hard. Okay. So, then... I'm thinking a bit of untapped Hallowed Fountain. Going to 18. And here's a Porphyry Nose. <gasps> <laughs> just, just to uh, get rid of that wall there. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. It also gives you some incentive to not play another thing. It's true. Hmm. What do we do then? Burn catacombs. Yep. Yeah. Crack going to 17. I think we'll find ourselves a swamp. Yep. 
Are you going to drain it of its mana <laughs> by casting something? Maybe. Could be. And the kitchen finks. All right. 19. Enter go. Oh, you've dealt damage to yourself. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I haven't attacked you on account of not having creatures. <laughs> it's all these fetch lands. So I will nodes tear down that wall. And we'll draw a card. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, play a Flooded Strand, and we'll cast a Serum Visions. Draw a card. Oh, that was decent. Scry 2. I don't want either of those, but it doesn't matter, because I'm going to have to crack this, probably. Um, let's see, how many cards do you have? A few. Well, what's a few? Six. Six cards. Um... Hmm. I'm going to crack Flood of Strand. Go to 17. That will get... Something basic. Snow-covered plains. So you haven't had any fours yet. Which is interesting. Um, no ramp. No. I think the safe thing to do still, though, is cast Nevermore, and I will name Reclamation Sage. <gasps> Pass the turn. Untap. I think that's still the safe pick. Drop turn. Hmm. What do we do here? Cards in hand. Three. Three cards. Well, three beats. Fourteen. Temple Garden untapped. Yep. Hey, you got your land. And you didn't even have to, like, rebuy a... <laughs> <laughs> Enter go. Thing a bunch of times. Untap. Upkeep. Thanks. Yep. Draw Back a card. Up to Nineteen. Hmm. Flooded strand. Crack it. Going to thirteen. And we'll fetch. Snow covered island. Seven mana. Cast Enduring Ideal. In response. Restoration Angel. Yep. Target Kitchen Finks. Twenty one. And yep. Alright. I figured uh, I would bait you with the fetch land if you had a Haven Mind Sensor. Not that you probably would have taken the bait, but figured I'd do it. Um. Okay. So, so that's already kind of protecting me from that. Um. Can we afford to set up a little? Three, four, five, six. I think we probably can. Of course, it's possible. I'm just completely wrong about that. But we will get a Dovescape. Because that, I think, locks you out of removing any of my enchantments. Yeah, I can't get an Aether Vial down anymore. Yeah. Or uh, the Maelstrom Pulse that you brought in. Yes. Which, the only thing I'm worried about is, like, going into negative life when I'm allowed to, and then you just, like, pulsing it, and then I just lose. So, I think I'm... I think that's what I'm willing to do. So, go ahead. Untap. Drop turn. Tap 
attack for six. I will take six. Go into seven. And Overground Tunes untap. Nineteen. Bird's Paradise. Ooh. You've stole my Porphyry Nodes target. <laughs> and Jurgo. Untap. Birds. Cast and well, copy enduring ideal. In response to enduring ideal. Flash and Restoration Angel. Flickering Kitchen Finks. Sure. 21. Alright. Um. Let's see. That's 7. So I think at this point I have to get the Mine Cage. So we get the Mine Cage. I suppose you could say bird too, because it does say. Oh no, it's yeah. It's I guess right, you, yeah. I guess you can't. Yeah, because there's no actual targeting. Okay, then draw for turn. Pass the turn. Three cards. Untap. Draw for turn. Hmm. How do we best handle this? Tide Hollow Scholar. Ooh, hey. <laughs> we'll take that remand. Sure. You guys now have one power each. They do have one power each. <laughs> I don't know if that's enough, though. Three. Go to four. And a wall of roots. Sure. Jurgo. Okay. So I got it. I think I have to target that. Yeah. Because I'm negatives sure. can't. Negatives. So target that. Enduring ideal. We'll go fetch. Hmm. What am I scared of? Here. Am I scared of anything, really? Well, just in case, we'll get a Phyrexian on life. First. This redundancy never hurts. And then we'll draw for turn. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Wall of Omens. Sure. Uh. I don't think there's any way for me to uh, to get out of this. You keep playing zero power things, so it's not like I can kill that. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna somehow need this though. Yeah, even this turn wouldn't have been enough. Yeah, yeah. And for actually non life on top of that, so it's going to be Eternal Witness. Oh, getting back the Verdant Catacombs. All right, Crack Verdant Catacombs going to twenty. Finding a forest. I'm going to convert this forest into a bird with the Sather Vial. Okay. <laughs> Deal. Uh, so... We only have spirits, which you can get at store.forestbear.net. Sign up today. And your go. All right. So, uh, Porphyry Nodes that. 
And enduring ideal. I think at this point it would be best to just start going for it. Form of the dragon. Okay, then we'll draw for turn. And pass the turn. Go to five. Untap. Draw for turn. Forced. A thrag tusk, because you're going to have to work for it. Ugh. Okay. 25. Deal. Enter, go. All right. Uh, what's the lowest? Bird. So bird down. Nodes away the bird. On my upkeep. Um, do I have anything else? No. During a deal. Well, I guess I have this. Uh, so five to you. Twenty. Get another form. <laughs> Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Three birds, please. <laughs> deal. Uh, three birds. Enter go. It's a good way to uh, get porphyry nodes to not do anything. Destroy a bird. <laughs> <laughs> you can have one of those back. Yeah. Uh, form you twice. Ten. And then search with enduring ideal. And I think we'll get. What can we even get here? Um. I guess detention sphere, the Thrag Tusk. <laughs> Just in case you get, like, a resto or something. Yeah. And, you know, just showcase off this beast token. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Pass turn. Oh, draw a card first. Untap. Can't forget that. Even though it's completely irrelevant. Draw for turn. Windswept Heath. Crack. All right. Going to nine. We're going to find... A Godless Shrine untapped. Going to seven. And... Attack you for zero. Take it. Zero. Sure go. Go to five. <laughs> Um, I'll keep ten you. Two. Dead. Alright. Didn't even get to have to search with this. So, uh, turns out turning into a dragon was able to actually sneak it through. Even post sideboard, which I'm shocked because you sideboarded in like yeah. 56 cards. So. I didn't get any of them that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, oh, of course, mine, even mine sensor was that uh, card there. <laughs> I don't think at that point it would have mattered because yeah, I didn't it even been... have to search anymore. And you could have just dragoned it in response. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, uh, that was that. So this deck will be back next week. Uh, we have something kind of special lined up for this Friday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And uh, make sure you vote for Soul Sisters, Goblins, Superior Agro, or Black White Eldrazi. Boy! Ciao. Yeah. Mm -hmm.